Hello and welcome back. We're in the cellar today and it's time to rack or transfer this wine to a different bottle. In this video, we'll discuss why and how wine is racked and explore the advantages and disadvantages of different methods used. Drop the device. Get away from that keyboard. Step outside into Shred World. This Chamberson has already been racked two times since we made it last fall. There's a large layer of wine on top. That's good. There's a thin layer of sediment on the bottom, or lees, and that's bad. We need to separate the two. The reason the sediment is bad is because it contains a mix of dead yeast cells and grape pulp residue, which can cause off flavors in the wine. We'll be using an auto siphon and rubber tubing to transfer to a clean bottle. But there are other methods we could use. We could use a pump to transfer the wine. It's quick, but it does introduce air or oxygen into the wine. Pumping makes more sense for larger batches. We could just pour the wine from one bottle to another. But once again, this introduces a lot of air, which is bad for the wine. Siphoning transfers the wine gently. For this to work, the receiving bottle must always be lower than the source bottle. Place one end in the source bottle, suck on the other end of the tubing until the wine starts flowing, and place it into the receiving bottle. This works, but it's not sanitary. A better way to use this is to fill the tube with water and clamp one end. Place the unclamped end into the source bottle and place the clamped end into a third bottle until the water drains out and the wine starts to flow. Then switch to the new clean receiving bottle. The wine slowly and gently fills that bottle from the bottom up. The auto siphon combines the best features of all the methods. The hose is placed into the receiving bottle and the auto siphon is placed into the source bottle. One quick pump and it begins the flow. All equipment used to transfer the wine needs to be cleaned and sanitized. Bottles are easy to sanitize. Pour some sanitizing solution in, let it set, and then rinse it out. The fumes will sanitize the insides of cylinders and tubing. Place in a deep container with an open container of sanitizing solution. Cover and let set. Anytime we transfer the wine, we taste test and adjust it if needed. We add the adjustments to the receiving carboy before racking so that they'll mix in well. The top of the clean receiving bottle is lower than the bottom of the source bottle. single pump on the auto suction starts the flow. Toward the end, we gently tilt the source bottle to keep the end of the siphon covered. When the sediment starts to approach the end of the siphon tube, we pull the other end of the hose up to stop the flow. If needed, we top up the carboy with some extra wine. This is the sediment we've left behind. We'll let this wine continue to age and clear for a few months. 
it may need to be racked again or it could be clear enough to bottle. We'll decide then. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like by hitting the thumbs up button below this panel. And while you're there, why not subscribe?